What the brap is up, everybody? Hey, Cody with Dirt Nap Dirt Back Adventures channel. And today, I'm going to give you a quick overview, impression of the Climb Creos helmet. I just did 2,000 miles plus going down to Arizona to meet Tim Collins for an adventure. And uh, this is the helmet that I wore. Let me tell you, right off the bat, I was in... Temperatures down to 9 degrees, and that is not driving. So, it was very, very cold. Kind of extreme conditions. And uh, I'm just going to go over a few things. I'm going to do a full review on this helmet coming up. But uh, since I just got back, and it is Friday, I was due for a video. I'm going to give you my impressions on the Climb helmet. First of all, fit is true. Had no problems, same size I always buy, medium, and it fit great. Comfort, this thing is very comfortable. See, inside the padding is great. And it is a lot lighter than the helmets I have been wearing. So as far as comfort, this thing was awesome. Ventilation, I think this thing would be a great summer helmet. I have a 6D helmet that I wear when I ride my dirt bike and it is very heavy and the ventilation pretty much sucks on that thing. It will protect your head really well, but uh, ventilation does suck. Going through very cold weather at 70 to 90 miles an hour, I found that this helmet is well ventilated. My head got a little bit chilly. just because it is so well ventilated, but uh, it did not fog up once. And that is part due to the pin lock, which I think was an extra option. This helmet is borrowed for a review, but there's a pin lock inside the visor and it basically glues to the inside of the visor and through all the weather I went probably from 45 degrees down to 9 degrees it did not fog up once not at all totally awesome noise uh, for an adventure helmet I did install the Cena communications that goes specifically for this helmet uh, it wasn't terrible to install, but I was kind of in a time crunch and uh, it took me a little longer than I wanted. That doesn't mean it's a bad installation. Just, I wanted to do it quicker. So as far as noise, uh, the ventilation does allow some wind in. I didn't have my microphone to vlog with, so it's hard to say what it would sound like. I'm going to have to try that out for the full review. But again... Um, could hear some noise, but the communication worked great. I got to communicate with Tim back and forth. I could hear him. He could hear me. So there wasn't a lot of wind noise in the mic and just, just a bit in, uh, in the headphone section. Uh, I noticed that. I also have just a street helmet that I've worn. It's a scorpion something or other. Anyway, it's a little bit quieter, but it's not... Not quite as cool as this helmet, actually. Um, the visor, I thought, when you turn your head sometimes and you have a visor, especially at highway speeds, it'll pull your neck. The way this thing's designed, with all the venting through the visor, I mean, there's so much space. It did not pull my head at all, and it did keep the sun out of my eyes when I needed it to. Um, the weight, well, this thing is very light. I don't know the exact weight on it. Like I said, in the full review, I will give you that. However, 2,000 plus miles, 11 days on the bike all day, and sometimes all night, uh... My neck doesn't hurt at all. So that's a testament to me for the weight. 
pretty much I would highly recommend this helmet. Uh, if I was going to nitpick it at all, it would probably be that uh, I think there's a newer version where the strap is magnetic. And uh, I mean, riding in the cold, I had two pairs of gloves on and trying to do the buckle and undo the buckle was kind of, I had to deglove basically. That sucked. That said, most helmets you have to do buckles. So I would like to see the magnetic strap if this were to be my helmet, which it could be. Anyway, that is my six plus minute video. Initial impressions on the climb Cryos or Creos. Uh, as far as looks, I love this thing. It's awesome actually matches my jacket that I didn't bring on this trip. However, that's irrelevant. So, and the Bluetooth Cena that goes with it. I mean, I got to rock out to some tunes on the way home, which was very helpful. Anyway, the visor comes off just by flipping these down. You can pull it off, trade it out. So, definitely, definitely loving this helmet. Um, not loving riding motorcycles in nine degree weather, but, uh, this helmet did it and my ears didn't freeze. My nose didn't really freeze and it didn't fog up. So all in all, pretty darn awesome helmet. If you were thinking about it, I would highly recommend it. So anyway, that's the Friday video. I've got some huge, huge, uh, adventure footage coming up in the next few weeks uh, i'm going to be doing a lot more how to and uh, gear reviews for you guys trying to share with you what i have learned over the last few years and what i continue to keep learning so look for five how to or five thing videos coming up next year a lot of those and uh, thank you for all your support i'm very excited i've got to meet either in person or mostly over the internet so far a lot of people that are very cool and i never would have known without this channel so i appreciate your support your comments keep them coming and uh i plan on getting out next year and meeting shaking hands maybe riding and dining with a lot more people because it's a very cool community anyway thanks for tuning in have a great weekend. Uh, I'll get up some adventures from Arizona coming up hopefully next week. All right. So stay safe and come join the adventure, baby.